Hi, I'm Josh, and welcome back to Skyrim. Last time we did a bit of merchanting, and now our inventory is very, very empty. Let's go. What did you need? Nothing oh yeah, else? All right. we did a bit of merchanting between episodes. Last time I said I was gonna do some merchanting. Oh my. Let's uh, use this bow and use the black star to recharge it. One down. Hang on. Did you One to go. Something? What have you got? I missed. Okay. That's cool. Do your worst. I intend to. Give up while you still can. Bonk. <laughs> Didn't get his soul. Too bad. He flew pretty good, though. What's that landing spell again? Drop zone. Perfect. I think I did this last time. Turns out the Dawn Guard are gonna keep harassing us for being innocent little vampires. Yeah. Too bad. Okay, so Sharana was talking about an inlet around the side of a building. A gargoyle is still staring there menacingly. Yeah, just around this bend. Thank you. Fight! Regen? No regen. Doesn't look so big from down here. I mean, it is big, but, well, even bigger. Alright. Hmm. Yes? Huh. All right then. Oh, undead. Great. Your three to one odds will crash, but fine. No. One down. What's the best way to deal with Skelly Boys? Holy magic! Oh my God! This thing has a thousand health. How, how, how? It's like a Draugr Deathboard level. Screw this. Sun. Profane sun. Okay, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, multiple thousand health wizards. Skeletons. There we go. Volkhar Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Yes! Called it. Hounds, no less. Done with you. Ooh, loot. Trap loot, but loot nonetheless. Hang on. Huh, I thought I was gonna do kind. I would also have wanted. Oh, great. We have a vamp. Bonk. Feral Vampire. Well, at least it recharged the Black Star. Oh, that was Serana's Death Hound. Sorry. Fear. Journal Fragment. Not good enough to live in their stupid keep, am I? Stupid sides aren't where like I moved into Undercroft and started taking control of their own Death Hounds. I'll get my revenge. Sorry, girl, you did not get your revenge.
Ah. Be through. Take a left up here. This is one of those weird double blocks. Bye. <laughs> Sick of this. Be nice. Oh, you don't play nice. Okay, fine. Okay, more more stuff. Called again, uh, wind or wicked wind. Wicked wind. Oh no! Nearly uh, clipped through the map there. Uh, how did you? What? What are you doing? Found it. Ooh, I did find it. Yeah. Hmm, indeed. Okay, so this is where we sh we're supposed to go. <gasps> Damn it. Okay, let's head back out. Oh. Hmm. Bunch of traps here. Ah! Not much else. Bunch of sticks. Oh, this is the wrong way. Ah! Right, exit. Wrong way again? Head through the door. Get it! We've made it to the courtyard. Oh no. What's up? What happened to this place? Everything's mm. been torn down. The whole place looks... well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. Mm. Do you need something? I used to walk through here after evening meals. Most beautiful ones. Got it. Mm. Oh, sorry. You okay? This was my mother's garden. Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended hey. by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. Did you see the crest? It's supposed to go on one of these. Oh. There we go. Some oh, what is it? Sorry, did I interrupt you? telling you there's something strange with the moon dial what happened to the castle courtyard if i had to guess i'd say the moment mother fled the castle father went on a rampage mm. knowing him anything at all that reminded him of her was just destroyed so he just walled it off it appears that way i suppose he wanted to put the past behind him mm. perhaps if he had spent more time with us he would have recognized the beauty for himself What's so special about the Mundo? Well, as far as I'm aware, it's the only one in existence. The previous owners of the castle had a sundial in the courtyard, and obviously that didn't appeal to my mother. Hmm. She persuaded an elven artisan to make some improvements. You can see the plates that show the phases of the moons, Masser and Secunda. Does it work? That's the thing. What's the point of a moon dial? I always wondered why she didn't just have the whole thing ripped out. But she loved it. I don't know. I guess it's like having a piece of art, if you're into that sort of thing. I see. So, what are we gonna do? Hard to say. Maybe if we found the missing crests, we could figure it out. Alright. Talk to me about your family? No, I think I already did. Look around for the missing crests. Even in this mess, they should stick out. Hey, here's a crest. Hmm, where else? stuff. 
This leads to one of the other towers. Uh, hey, found the last crest. Crescent moon crest. Crescent moon. Crescent moon. Oh my, it's activating on its own. And it's a stairway! Very clever, Mother. Very clever. Cool. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Yeah! Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. Let's go. I'm getting very, very tired. I've had a very exhausting day. But this... This is fun. I've never even seen this part of the castle before. Be careful. I don't know what might be around. I do. <laughs> the dead walk. Ah! Rather, the dead nap. Okay. Smart ass. There we go. Mm, what's that? Thus falls the big boy. Poor imbecile. You were such a cute skeleton. Yes. No. Damn. <laughs> Okay. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. I'm wondering what my mother got up to here. She definitely wasn't trying to keep the place clean. Did your mother keep dark girls here? Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not uh, not what you're thinking. Yeah. She just found them fascinating. Hmm. Do you know this place? I'd always just assumed that the other tower was completely destroyed inside. My mother kept this a secret, even from me. She must have been up to something she thought was dangerous. Hmm. Talk to me about your family? No, just a sec. All right. We're getting Look. close. I'm sure of it. Talk to me about your family. There's not a whole lot to tell. You've already seen my father's obsession. My mother's not a whole lot better, but you'll see that soon enough. I might have already heard that. Were you close with them? My father... No, not really. I did spend a lot of time with my mother, but she saw me more like a protege than a daughter. Mm. What about you? What were your parents like? This is new. Uh, they were good people. I miss them. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up a bad memory. It's cool. Let's, uh, let's just keep going. Yeah, so this elf is pretty old. Pretty strong. So, he's probably, like, ah! pushing 400, so his parents are probably dead. Hang on. Especially considering, uh, you know, Thalmor. Very spooky. They're coming after me, but I can just snipe them as they come down. You're dead. Oof. Olaf the Elf is falling. Nice. 
I like having Serana around. She's good. Oh. So you do. Careful now. Got him. I'm getting good at this. Or at least less bad. Ah! Sneaky, sneaky. On me. This one is not. Oh my! See that dodge? So easily led, huh? You dunce. Damn. That's easily led. So much for anticipating that guy's movement. He doubted so much, he actually managed to dodge by doubting. Pleasant little peasants. Yeah, I'm not gonna put the insult thing on my next weapon. Not gonna do much there. Oh look, there's a lever next to a gargoyle. Whatever shall I do? Uh. Curse, no. Cyclone, no. Hmm, Dance of the Dead, Dismay, no. Dream Vitality, hmm, just Stamina Drain. I could do that. Or Earthquake, I could try Earthquake. Oof! Oh, that makes them fall over. Nice. That's actually a better Fus than Fus or Da. Bunch of damage. Blood scourge. Take a bunch of damage. Find sun. And electrosphere. Why not? Ah! Boom. <laughs> Serana's attacking me? Ah. Bitch! No. Ah. Hi guys. Ah. I don't think so. Enough, wicked wind. <laughs> hey, Serana. Uh, where are we headed? That looked to have been the exit, but then, then we were sidetracked. Or some kind of exit.
There we go. Ah! Is it Serana? Yes, it's Serana. Okay, and then we would have gone here and here and here and here and here and SpongeBob. SpongeBob. see uh here we are destination some description this is a dissection room or the first room was definitely a kitchen of some kind of ah! description even if it's just for vampires Shouts do I have available that I want to test on some test dummies? Hmm. Uh, ice form, ice born. Hmm. Slaying the weeping exerting their life force. Interesting. For snowfall, fiend and decoy, ice form. Hmm. I'm gonna try. Cyclone? Because that probably is the same thing as Earthquake. If it doesn't, I'll know not to use it. Hang on. So, oh, it didn't do the same thing as Earthquake. One down. Bye bye, you mole so bastards. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Enough. No. That's uh the end of that. Search. That's some nice jumps. And a scroll. Vampire oh, Royal Armor. Yet. I bet there's some kind of secret passage around here. I leave it to my mother. Fireplace. She's smarter than I gave her credit for. It's a succession of hidden entrances. This is like the third or fourth one in a row. Yeah. Yeah, ruined book. Okay. I think Molly Balalaro said something about my mace being coated in the blood of my enemies. Coated in the blood of my enemies, yes. <laughs> Hello. This is new. This looks to be some sort of alchemy lab. Look at this place. This has to be it. I knew she was deep in the necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. Mm. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Mm. She must have spent years collecting these components. Huh. And what's this thing? She has a dragon bone. I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously something. Mm. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. What exactly are we looking for? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Okay. Your mother maintained quite a laboratory. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. Hmm. So what did she research? Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. Hmm. To what end? I don't know. Certainly not longevity. <laughs> kind of a waste of time for a vampire. Yeah. All right. Nothing else? All right. I guess we can look around. Finely ground bone meal. Yeah, that's a quest item, definitely. Obscure's Lame Bao. Brief account of Lame Bao and the Restless Death. The very first vampire, Lame Bao. And now I don't want to follow Molly Bao. I am spoken for. Or rather, I speak for. I meant worse prey. Praise Lord Ariel. Thank you for your strength you provide me. 
I am becoming greater and sharper with every passing day. Mm. Journal of Valericus. Let's grab these first. Rising Threat, which is about the Thalmor, Fae Falcon. Don't really know. It's probably something... Don't know. No, I do not want to follow Clavica as well. Harkon's short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I've warned him time and time again that his foolish prophecy would cast far too much light on our people. And yet he refuses to so much as listen to a word I say. I've become less of a wife and more of an annoyance in his eyes. Devoting attention to my work is the only solace I can find. <sighs> While enjoying his... Well, enduring... His, his ridiculous crusade. I've had a breakthrough today. I was able to attune the portal vessel to the soul cairn, soul cairn, properly by using a small sample of ingredients. Although the portal opened only for a few seconds, I'm confident that with the proper formula, it can be sustained indefinitely. I feel like I'm missing a key ingredient, something of sufficient potency that can resist the forces trying to prevent my intrusion. Communing with the ideal masters, ideal masters, soul care, has proved worthless. They speak in riddles and offer no assistance with the Reich, and assure them a steady supply of souls or not. If I'm to escape Harkon's clutches, I need to keep the portal open long enough to carry me away from here. Forever, if need be. A few days later. I've done it. After wasting thousands of gold coins on components, I've discovered how to sustain the portal. I'm listening to components below without the proper amounts for my own protection. As secondary precaution, I'm combining my own blood into the formula, which should prevent anyone from being able to duplicate it and following me into the soul cairn. The formula consists of finely ground bone meal. Have that. Purified void salt. Don't have that yet. And soul gem shards. Using the proper measurements, place the above in the Silverline portal vessel and add blood as reactive agent. I will make my way into the Soul Care tomorrow. Yeah. After I gather my things and prepare for a potentially lengthy exile. More importantly, I must enact my plan for Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. Hey. Talk to Serana. Any luck yet? Found your mother's notes. You did? Let me see them. What's the soul cairn she mentions? I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. Why did she care where used souls went? The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. Hmm. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly. To travel to the soul cairn itself. I see. If she made it there, we could find her. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If hmm. I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cairn. Yep. So, what do we need? I already know this. A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, Have that. a good bit of purified void salts. Oh, damn it. What's wrong? We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Uh, you have her blood, don't you? I mean, you have your- you have her blood, right? Hmm, not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Mm. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Let's. I'm guessing all the ingredients are here? Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. Okay. Let's grab the, the rest of them then. Mm, Daedra hearts. Nice. Derubrum Durenus. Oh, B. Dwarven oil. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Place the ingredients in the vessel. 
Did I get all three? I mean, I got I got uh, some soul gem stuff. I got the bone meal. Did I get the void souls? I must have picked them up on the shelf there. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, no. Mm. Here we go. Purified void souls. Got it. Let's place the ingredients in the box. In the silver pedestal thing. There we go. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Can I ask you something first? Of course. What is it? What will you do when we find your mother? I've been asking myself the same thing since we came back to the castle. She was so sure of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. I never thought of the cost. I see. Let's see. It sounds like she did everything for you. Possibly. I guess even a vampire mother is still a mother. She worried about me. About all of us. But she wanted to get me as far away from my father as possible before he really went over the edge. Well, we won't know until we find her, but it sounds... Sane. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I just didn't expect anyone to care how I felt about her. Thank you. Are we ready then? Uh, let's get that portal open. All right. Here goes. Yep. Blood. By the blood of my ancestors. She actually created a portal of assault. Incredible. Woohoohoo! <laughs> Damn. Nice. Very impressive. Incredible. Simply incredible. So, before we step into the swirling vortex, anything you tell me about our destination? The Soul Cairn is a tiny sliver of oblivion, the realm of the Daedra. It's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. Ah, I see. So, what intrigued your mother by this? Honestly, I don't know. Necromancers are always interested in souls, though, so that probably has some kind of interest. Hmm. What exactly are the ideal masters? Do you have any idea? Nobody really knows. Hmm. As far as I've heard, no one's seen them and returned to Tamriel to tell about it. Ah. Then how do we know they even exist? I've read stories. Stories about fools that manage to... communicate with them. Ah. You give the ideal masters souls, they give you powers to summon the undead. It's all very businesslike. Mm-hmm. So, why are these people fools? Because most of the stories end with the Ideal Masters duping the Necromancers, who end up dead or wishing they were dead. I see. Let's hope that didn't happen to your mother. Okay, let's head into the portal. Alright. I'm gonna end the episode here. You know I would. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Thank you.